Hi, it's Pavel with a Visual Basic exercise uh, from the book Introduction to Programming Using Visual Basic. And um, this is from Chapter 7, Exercise 1. And uh, we are going to write a program that displays the nine different units of measure. Uh, we will request the unit to convert from, the unit to convert to, and the quantity to be converted and displays the converted quantity. We are given uh, this table uh, that uh, we will be declaring, you know, a two-dimensional di two array with the uh, that will correspond with inches to fo foot, foot uh, to how many feet, phantom to feet, foot to foot, of course, uh, furlong uh, to feet, kilometer to feet, and so so on. Basically, this is the form. I already made a form. Here is a list of all the units. And what we will do over here, the length to convert, we will enter, let's say, 100. We want to uh, convert 100, then original unit, uh, 1 through 9. Then let's say we will enter, we want 100 uh, meters. And desired units would be, let's say, kilometers. So we would enter 5. And so then it would convert it. And then when we click the convert button, it would it would convert the 100 meters into kilometers, which of course would be 0 0.1. Now, we, uh, as you can see, we are given uh, the values for feet. Everything is already converted to feet. So we will, it's going to make it uh, quite easy to convert everything uh, to any other unit between each other, uh, because we already have uh, everything kind of unified with the one unit conversion. If if this is uh, already converted to feet, we can convert it the same, uh, we can convert it any value to any of the uh, any of, of the other units with a very simple formula. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me show you how I go about this problem. So like I said, I already have the form. Uh, the only thing that we will be doing is the convert button. So I click that. And um, first thing we need to uh, declare is the is an array. Now, we're not going to be doing actually a two-dimensional array. We could. We could correspond, let's say, the number one with uh, inches, number two with phantom, and so forth. But we can simply do, uh, uh, let's say, uh, I'll call it length. That's going to be my array as double because these are all you know decimal uh, numbers and i will initialize it with all the numbers that we are given so 0 0.08333 is it and then six is the next one one six hundred and sixty uh three point oh i'm sorry three two eight one point five three point two eight one five 5280 16.5 and 3 so these are all the values that we have over here that correspond to the conversion into feet all right so uh, this number with index 0 corresponds to the conversion of 1 inch into feet this number 6 corresponds to co conversion phantom into feet and one phantom equals six feet. And obviously, one foot, this number three, equals one foot. And at the end, we got we get a yard. So we know that uh, one yard equals three feet. So all we have to, uh, basically, the order is very important because that will determine whether we're talking about inch, which would be the first number, or yard, which would be the last number. All right, so... Uh, Next one, we need to get the input, so it's going to be, I'll call it unit length as double, and that will be the input from the, uh, from the imp uh, text box. So I'll convert the text box input, which is text box length dot text. Uh, so if that would be this one, this is my text box dot text. By the way, I populated these uh, units 
you know, if it's a list box, I'll, you go to edit items and I will simp I simply edit the text. This is nothing other than a visual uh, display of the units for the user. It will, it will have no functionality. Okay, so now we have uh, the original units. That's gonna be what we are converted from. And we are, I'll call that, uh, well, original unit. Uh, as, uh, and this is gonna be an integer because we are going to convert from either one, two, three, four, all the way through nine. See, uh, original units one through nine. Basically, when the user press one, uh, then we will know that we are converted from, converting from inches. If the user presses nine or enters nine, then we know we are converting uh, from yards. Uh, so, uh, uh, I misspelled orange, original, or original unit. So that's gonna be an integer one through nine. And that will correspond with the element or the index of each of the elements in the array. And finally, we need the, uh, I'll call it desired unit uh, as integer, integer. And um, you know what, I, I forgot to, this is going to be the input from uh, uh, from the text box. So uh, we will do the C integer, we will convert the input, and this is from the text box original, that text. And this one will be the uh, converting from the, uh, the text box desired, that text. And again, this will be just one through nine, but again, like I said, if we co let's say we want to convert uh, meters to uh, kilometers, so we will over here, the original unit will be six and desired unit will be five. And over here, the first text box, uh, how many meters we want to convert to. And now all we need is the formula. Uh, so, uh, you know, I need to declare a result it's going to be a double because it's, it could be obviously uh, a decimal and the result will equal and the formula is very simple we will simply multiply the uh, number of units we want to convert let's say those 100 meters so this this would be 100 times the uh, the or the original uh, unit the length of the original unit. Uh, so what it, what is going to be is basically the length, which is our array, and we are looking for one of these elements. And the element we are looking for is basically the value of the original original unit uh, minus one minus one because uh, if the uh, we, this is zero based, basically we are looking for or trying to get the uh, index of the unit that we are converting from. Again, so let's say user enters, let, let's say user wants to convert meters, so he'll enter six. But if we go six, uh, that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, 3.2815, uh, that's actually an element five. So that's why we have to go uh, minus one because this is actually zero one two three four and five and uh, so when we have uh, this will give us the number of units uh, we're converting from let's say those hundred and we know it's meters and we will simply divide it by uh, oh, what did I just do <laughs> I deleted everything okay so we will simply uh, divide it by the length which is again the array that holds all the values of the desired units and minus one because again we are dealing with an array which is zero based. So um, well, I probably messed up some uh, some brackets here. I don't think I need so many of them. There you go. No. Uh, we'll multiply. Yeah, okay, there's one, and like that. Okay, so this is the whole formula. This is, uh, 
this will give us the result. So now we will simply output the result into our text box and we can format it a little, you know, so it's not, uh, uh, you know, the numbers will be decimal so it can have like tons of uh, decimal places. So uh, we will simply do format the result and let's say five decimal places. Now, let me s show you uh, how, how this is going to work. So again, let's say we want to convert 100 meters. So we know the meter is number six. So we're converting 100 times and the value we multiply in 3.2815. So 100 times 3.2815. So let's give us 328.15. And we are dividing it by the value that is held by the, let's say we're converting to kilometers. So we divide it by 3281.5 and we get 0 0.1 because that's what it is. 100 meters is 0 0.1 kilometer. So um, well, let's test that. So I want to convert meters. So I press six and I want to convert them to, uh, I'm sorry, I want to convert 100 of meters, so I press 6, into kilometers, so I press 5, and then I click convert, and I get 0 0.1. So let's say I want to convert uh, 100 inches, so that's going to be, let's say I press 1, into feet, so I press 3, because foot is the number 3, and I get 8.33. I guess that might be correct. Well, let's see if uh, I convert 100 feet, so 3, into inches, so 1. And that is correct, I'm pretty sure. Let me just see. Uh, I'll confirm this uh, online. Uh, I don't know if you can still see it. So I'm converting 100 of... Uh, inches into feet and I get 8.33 uh, I'm sorry I'm converting 100 feet um, uh, all right 100 feet into inches and I get 1200 and that's correct so uh, let's try some other one let's try Let's say I'm going to convert 100 uh, miles into um, kilometers. So if I convert 100 miles into kilometers, I should get 160.93, whatever. So let's try that. Uh, so I'm converting 100 miles, so that's going to be number 7, into kilometers, which is number 5. And then I get 160.9. So that's, that is correct. So the formula is uh, working. And it's working, again, because everything is already converted into feet. So the, the ratio remains the same. And so it's easy to, like I said, it's, it's, this is the simple formula to convert now everything. If this were not uh, you know, the same unit, if let's say this one would be inches, this one would be kilometers or whatever, then it wouldn't work. We would be need to have everything in the same unit okay so uh, yeah this is the uh, this is the whole exercise i hope it was helpful and i'll see you next time take care